Valentine in Longmont, Colorado. Hey, good old Longmont. <laughs> Just down the road. That's where our executive director for Octave Records, Jessica Carson, lives in Longmont. Lovely Longmont. Okay. So Valentine writes to me and he says, if decibel is the unit of measure for intensity of a sound, why does audio equipment like a preamp or an integrated show volume in minus decibels? That doesn't make any sense to me. And sound gets louder the closer you get to zero dB. How does that make any sense? Well, on the face of it, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. <laughs> How could zero be the loudest and something minus? Um, so, see if I can explain this. A decibel is, in engineering, the way that we call out loudness or level, and it's so that we can all have a common reference point. And our most common reference point is zero. Why zero? Well, the idea behind that is that if you have zero decibels, zero loudness as a baseline, then anything that gets attenuated, turned down, is at a minus level and anything that gets amplified is at a plus level. So we could have plus 6 dB or minus 6 dB. That is in reference to the zero baseline, which has a whole thing about dBUs, which I'm not going to get into. There, there is actually a voltage that's specified. Here is, within our industry, zero dB has a very specific voltage level that we all agree upon. And that level is, how can I put this simply? Maybe the easiest way to put it is that within a system, um, zero is pretty much what's going to run your power amplifier at its loudest point, okay? So if we put zero dB as our reference in terms of voltage into our power amplifier, it's going to play real loud, okay? So now our pre-amplifier at its loudest is going to put out zero dB, approximately, all right? So everything that we do, we're turning down. We don't want to play it at our loudest level ever, right? Because you're going to blow your ears out and you're going to upset the neighbors. So don't do that. So when we turn the volume control down, we're minus decibels. We're minus zero, right? Because that's, we're attenuating. So maybe the signal comes in, let's just call this two volts, right? Just for, just for, you know, what and grins, right? So let's say two volts coming in from our source. And at the end of the day, we, we could put out as much as two volts into our power amp. But if we do put out two volts, we're going to have it really loud because that's how much most power amplifiers will output their maximum power if you put two volts into it. So our source has two volts coming out. And if you plug that source directly into your power amplifier, this mythical zero dB, it's going to play really loud. Don't want to do that. So we put it through a preamplifier and we turn the level down. Well, now we are below zero. So now we're at minus dB. Okay. So, and these, you're having fewer and fewer at, uh, levels of attenuation as you bring it up. And now we're getting closer and closer and closer to this zero dB. So that's why everything is negative unless, and some of course are able to oots it up above f for whatever reason, because maybe you have something that needs that over there. So I hope that wasn't too disjointed, <laughs> but that's why we have negative dBs in our preamplifiers. And Last thing I'll say about it, way back when, when Stan and I were first starting the company, as nerd engineers that we are, <laughs> we listed everything as minus dBs, and it confused the hell out of just about everybody. And that's why we got rid of it and said, you know what? Volume should make sense. So our volume controls now all go from zero to 100. And everybody can figure out that about 50 is about half 
And as we get up to 100, that's the maximum output. And so we don't use decibels anymore for the user here in the lab. That's all we do. Okay, decibels. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>